The only way to clean up is to get dirty first. Now, people were willing to help today during the United Way Day of Caring. Here at WKBN, we partnered with United Way because we care for our community. 27 First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder got to see Youngstown be cleaned up. Elijah Strada is from Youngstown. Born and raised my whole life. He's been living at this house for seven years. When he came home from work today, he was in for a big <laughs> surprise. And I just seen a whole community of people just cleaning it up. I thought it was beautiful. I didn't know who did it. Who did it was United Way of Youngstown. They partnered with YNDC as part of their 21st annual Day of Caring. We're working on cleaning up abandoned houses. We're working on cleaning up vacant lots, cleaning up sidewalks, getting brush, trash, and debris out of our neighborhoods. Jack Dougherty works for YNDC. He's also a Youngstown native. I'm very proud of Youngstown, and I wanted to see it be the place that we want it to be. We, the residents, want this city to be. Each year, the United Way in YNDC chooses a section of Youngstown to clean up. This year, it was the south side of Youngstown. This is a neighborhood that's got a lot of vacant properties that need attention. The cleaning happened from Marmion Avenue all the way to East Avondale Avenue and between South Avenue and Cottage Grove Avenue. More than 90 businesses and other organizations came to help. Altogether, it was one thousand volunteers. Once you see people taking pride in where you live, you will take pride into it. So the kids are not just walking around throwing stuff in your yard. They see you outside picking things up. Today is an opportunity for the community to make Youngstown what they envision it to be. All of our volunteers, the neighborhood, we've all come together to, to, to get this done. So I'm very excited. In Youngstown, Noah Daniels Water, WKBN 27 First News.